No. Except maybe make that vampire a little more immortal. Just in case. Maybe make it immune to sunlight. But but on the twins' fifth birthday, the best friend takes the twins and they disappear. So they're gone. Oh. Yeah. So now you've got more tragedy. But y'all guys like hating hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> you try to make him immortal, no booze is family. Hey. He's immortal and he has to have pain in his gut for forever. <laughs> You have to torture your characters. It's just they have they can't live a good good life. <laughs> that's not reality. All, can't think it all fairy tale happy, happily ever after. No, it's just like, no fun. Like crazy gnomes and talking horses or talking unicorns. I'm sorry. <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> but right here, not not at this point. But you know, um, he does have a pet hawk. What does he use the hawk for? Scouting. Scouting. Okay. What else? Receiving messages. Receiving messages. Would you use it as a form of, like, to procure food? You can use it as a Well, that's typically what they use for is hunting. Hunting? Yeah. Kitchen okay. added. Cool. How'd he get that hawk? I mean, he's been in jail. He inherited a tavern. His best friend gave it to him for a birthday gift. Oh, cool. How did she get it? Nobody a knows. <laughs> a traveling salesman with, hawk, with hawks. Well, they, okay. sold, they sold strange and exotic animals. Okay. Greater. So where is this brothel located now that we've got we've got the element of travel here, we've got the fact that he's immortal, we're we're working towards a little bit assassiny, feudal ish. Like where does he live? Like where is actually he located? Industrial city, western frontier. I'd say in the Europe south. Room. Okay, so he's a southern brothel owning vamp uh, assassin. I'm seeing like Savannah, Georgia. Old New Orleans. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, yeah. We wouldn't know anything about Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm, this is kind of the, like, I don't know, that's just what I'm getting. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, Southern brothel owning assassin who's immortal in okay. 1853. In 1853. All right, then. Yeah. Cool. Magical toothpick. All right, then. It's what matters. It's what matters. I like that. All right. So, do you guys have. Any additional information you'd like to contribute to Yugi Master's Green? Yes. His son decides to kill him because he thought that Yugi left him, but it was the mother who uh, took so the twins. Does die. No, no, the son of Yugi tries to kill him. Tries. Yes, tries, but does it succeed? Brings on the reins of the assassin to kill his father. No. Oh. No. <laughs> he, he, he got close, but no dice. He's gotten close. He's gotten close. How do you go about killing one who has ingested an immortality toothpick of doom? Cut. He's trying yeah. to cut out his stomach. Dynamite. Dynamite. Swallow this bomb, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in 12 pieces, what does it matter? Yeah. You're still alive as long as the toothpick's touching flesh, right? But if you destroy the toothpick, would he lose his immortality? Yes. He would. So he was going to sacrifice himself to rid the world of his father. Yes. For the greater good. Yes. Wow, well, but wouldn't that also kill his sister? Not necessarily. No. Not if it, they're still within, you know, a decent age. Like, maybe they're, like, he's, like, 12 years old. Like, his body and his mind and all that are still 12. He just wants to kill his dad because he doesn't want to live forever. Ooh, talk about that preteen angst. 12 years old. Dang. Hey, that's the best time to just let all those anger out. Right. <laughs> Get those roids out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not attempts to kill him. Does the son die in the process? I don't think. No. Son, you know? No, yeah. no, he just walks away with shame. He walks away with shame. Does the sister attempt later on? No. No. I think the sister went down more than the mother's death. Just. So, so we have a we have a a, a true good character, and we have a vengeful, chaotic. I would say chaotic neutral. Like he doesn't really like that dark or. How would you how would you classify sons? I, I would say the son is chaotic good. He he understands that what he's doing might seem wrong to other people, but to him, in his case, for his true justice and morality, he honestly believes the world would be a much better place without his father in it. So, which makes him really depressed. The father, the father, because he knows this. Knows about his vengeful son. Yeah, if he tries to kill him, of course he does. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but he didn't know before that. Maybe no. he locks himself away for a few years, being a hermit, because 
he's so depressed with his own fate and his own children's he takes some time off work, you know, just, hey, I'm sorry, you know, I, I can't Gives it off to person. a second person. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't come to the brothel today. Ignores jobs to kill people, just sits there and sulks. Mm -hmm. And then passes into legend. Things yeah. that should not have been lost. lost. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like he kills himself a little husband. So he moves Earth out of this, does he move out of the south? <laughs> does he move out of the south when he retires? He goes, goes lives in the forest. Lives in the, forest, the forests of Louisiana. So he goes into the swamp country. Yes. That's frightening. I don't know. <laughs> Be friends with oh. gators or not? He's just gonna raise gators. 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 gators that he yeah. rides on to the swamp. So, so he retires to be a gator riding swamp dwelling hermit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His life has already been mixed up enough, why not? You know, like. He's gotta name the two gators they want. <laughs> Maybe one's yeah, like, like, albino. An albino gator? All right. It's the alpha of the other gators. Name Joe. Name Joe. Joe. So his gate. One of the white gator. The white alpha gator is named Joe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be original there. Yeah. Really. Cool. So when his wife and his kids are gone, where do they go? They move north. They move north. So how do his kids know <coughs> where they are? So does his relationship with the wife stay intact, or she just leaves because he's being an ass one day? I think, being a I think the daughter doesn't know anything about it, mm -hmm. but the son finds the mom's diary and reads it. Okay, so we've got a little... Does she feel slighted? Is the mother slighted by the father? Is that why? Yeah. She leaves, so then he becomes vengeful, yeah. and he picks up his mantle to rid the world of such an evil person who's, sli who's slighted my mother. That's how he gets yeah. in his head that it's his father's fault that they all left because it's just from the mother's point of view of the diary. So, it's been a case that he said, she said, that he don't know what happened. You see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Fred Joe. Yeah, Fred Joe. Alligator. Alpha of the alligators. Because <laughs> we, we have a very important alligator hierarchy in the swamps. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Very important. Very important. <laughs> In fact, you that alligators are one of the best ways to get rid of bodies. So he could continue his assassinating. If he ever continues on. If he ever considered he and just feed the alligators. Go, Joe. <laughs> you gotta win their loyalty somehow. Yeah, you gotta win the loyalty. Yeah. So maybe the way he wins the loyalty of the alligator is by feeding him consistently. Yeah. With a lot of jobs. weeks, fresh body, and that's gotta be not much. Or maybe he feeds him his hand, which makes him. It's the alligator. It's trusty Steve forever. Lop off the hand and be back on the <laughs> Maybe he has a healing effect. It doesn't mean he gets limbs back. True, maybe he, he just, you know, he could just build a hook onto it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe so a, 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 a hidden blade say. that just, just cleans out of it. Captain Hook. Be gator riding. <laughs> walk <all> around. <laughs> <laughs> so at one point, owned a brothel and was born in a tavern. Maybe he could just change his alignment towards the end. Knows. Maybe he turns like a witch doctor kind of person, maybe a medicine man for India. So he's just, he is a, he is a non-directional character. He meanders through his path in life because he has no true goal. And he completely well, gives up his art. Not everybody stays the same factor they are in their morals all their life. Especially with dramatic events like his family leaving and his son trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. Towards and towards, changing the way he looks. <coughs> That's pretty epic. I like that. You could go either really dark it's the best part about a neutral character. Yeah, they can do Dark, it we're good. Okay, so let's take a quick vote. Who thinks that Captain Hook becomes good and a medicine man and lops off red of limbs to save small children from disease? No? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Captain Hook becomes a vengeful witch doctor. Who feeds his victims to the alligators in the swamp? Are we voting on that one? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're consensusly good with that. Okay. Oh, cool. makes, the, makes the story more interesting. Though. Cool. Okay. <coughs> Otherwise, you can stop the story there. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. This character has some deep development. Like, yeah. I like this. Yuki Master Green has become. Conglomerate of ideas. <laughs> I love his monotone laugh at me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine? I imagine. Yeah. Yeah.
imagine that would also push him towards the evil. Like, who could not think that's just slightly creepy? I'm riding an alligator, <laughs> laughing, monotone, off, 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 off. He's coming yeah. to get you with that part. Yeah. It's like, he's coming! So now we create an evil character, what do we do with that then? He's living out the swamp by himself, riding alligators, feeding people those alligators to keep him. What then? Hmm. Does he ever decide, as most immortal characters do, that he might not want to be immortal again anymore? Sorry. I think after some point, you know everything you're going to know. You know, get tired of watching your you know, friends and relatives and people around die, so you would want to at a certain point. Does it make him unable to age, or does it just keep him from dying? That's the point. Now, could it get to the point where he's sitting there 140, he's barely able to move, Let's take a vote. Does it keep him ageless, or does it let him age? Ageless. All hands for ageless. Ageless. Okay, so, okay, so again, it's like he's ageless. Okay. okay. I'm for ageless. Okay, cool. So he's forever 28. That's actually not a bad test. So they're very, very worst age. Yeah, like, they're very worst ages. You could be like 15. That would that suck. suck. You can't enjoy your puberty. Yeah. <laughs> explain when he flits from one thing to the other. You know, he doesn't feel any need. need to commit to anything. Yep, that would be sick. But he married that one time. That was but six yeah. before. Maybe that's why she left him. I'm sure. sure. He got bored, she was getting older, he wasn't. Okay, that makes sense. He did. Commitment issues. He was used to having all these ladies to take care of and all that, and then he has to settle down, take care of the family, and it gets to an old life, you know, boring life, and you want something exciting, and crazy, Sun but she, so she left because she got those thoughts of, no, married life for children, <laughs> I'll take care, I'll, I'll take care of the kids, you leave, but, <laughs> and then, anger, they're angry people, this it's is, angry. the daughter is very happy, the and go lucky, and by only because the daughter doesn't know, she's blissfully unaware of everything yeah. else, She's naive. She don't so, that's how she perceives. That's how she wants people to perceive her. <laughs> but deep down, she knows. Yeah, I would say there's some sort of like twin connection where she feels and understands what her brother is going through, but is just completely ignoring it. Yes, she completely ignores it and makes people think that she's naive. So, do so they, they still don't expect a lot of her. Are the brother and sister still in contact then? I mean, other than through their crazy. When psychic. Yes, psychic. they always they write to each other. They write to each other. So where does she live? Back down in the south. Back down in the south. How about him? Where did he go out? He walked out shamefully. I'd say he went out west. Yeah. Went west? You go to California? Yeah. Set up shop in Los Angeles? Depending on what year it is, you know, <coughs> brush thing. Sure. And, and he is Solomon immortal, went so. Went down the same path as his father and went for riches. Yeah. Except he didn't go around killing people for it. Cool. He can, though. People did so they go and kill Does his daughter ever come back into his life? Back into his life? Yes, to kill Joe. To kill Joe. To kill Joe. To kill the king of the alligators. Why kill the alligators? Because alligator skins for the rave. Purses. Shoes. So she becomes a vengeful fashion. How do you kill an immortal alligator? I don't know. <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's always the other possibility. Well, when the, only way, when the only way to get rid of the ability is to kill like, the father. <laughs> you have to get the two so things the army of alligators for the vengeful daughter of the faction needs to needs <laughs> these alligator skins. Okay. Yeah, she's a businesswoman. Yeah, she's a businesswoman. Are the children, children are immortal, too, because of the toothpick, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Maybe one of them gets tired of being one long before he does. Okay, so who thinks it's the daughter who gets tired of living and quests to rid immortality from the world? Who thinks it's the son? Well, yeah, son. I, I think it's a team the, effort. The, I, I, th I think the son tried at first, failed, and left, and I think it's the daughter who went back and forth. The, what a true shot. <laughs> She's older, she knows what happened with her brother, and I think she goes back for the true kill. She learns from him. Okay. So it's so, that's a pretty good. I like that. So how does everyone feel about that? Is everybody cool with that? Yeah. Okay, cool. The only question is how. 
is how would he, how would she dispatch her immortal father with an army of alligators in the swamps of Louisiana? With a, with a magical katana. Magical katana? Yes. Where did she procure yes. a magical katana from? It's a, it's a payment for her outfits. A Japanese woman wanted it. So she yeah, gave... She got in a train. So. I mean, her father's name is Yuki. Yeah. True. This could be this could be someone who he left running the brothel. All the connections. Yeah. You know, there could always be a quest to find out what what's, what the toothpick was about originally and how it could be destroyed. Because there might be even though she can take him apart, but that toothpick's still in there. Yeah. Maybe the original owner is still alive. Because the original owner crafted it, maybe, and by some of his power, it could. Is the toothpick still an actual toothpick, or is it a smaller part of some larger piece? I think it's from a tree, a magical tree. A magical tree? Yes. Is the toothpick made of wood? Does it have to be made of wood? No. Mm. Is it made of wood? That's the question. How about that? The tree is a mineral. It could be wood, it could be rock, it could be whatever mm. the person's desire. That's why it makes shape it magical. Shape-shifting toothpick. Shape-shifting toothpick of difference. Okay. <laughs> For the eternal shape-shifting toothpick of eternal life. Yeah. <laughs> of you. Of you. <laughs> it's pure as a fountain and a chalice and oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it could, it could literally be the lost chalice of the fountain of youth? Something like that. In the form of a toothpick? Because what who wants a it? toothpick? You want retirement? You want retirement? Turn it into toothpick. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just done with that. Everybody's looking for it. I got tired of being a cup. So. Yeah, got tired of being a cup. Gonna be toothpick now. Toothpick. It sounds like the the toothpick has a little bit of the same thing that Yuki has going on right now. Does this mean nah. that, <laughs> life? Does this mean life. that this magical item is intelligent and could possibly talk? It's very possible. Get <laughs> yeah, Yuki, yeah, Yuki's too dumb to understand. Yuki doesn't understand it. Because he's street smart, but he's not literate, and maybe it's trying to write messages to him without him realizing. So the toothpick is trying to communicate written word. This guy has no clue, and it's in his stomach. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> you walk past a sheet of paper, random words. No <laughs> 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 more random words. This part's covered in them, but he's just like a mad boy. <laughs> he's just like... People come to find him. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> Why are you writing all over? Is that writing all over? Somebody walks in. Well, someone walks in. No, 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 no. Get me out! <laughs> I twitch is more scared. Oh, I twitch. <laughs> <laughs> the twitch. The twitch he's had all this time. That's pretty phenomenal. That's phenomenal. <laughs> That's the good trait about it. <laughs> yeah. So we, we I twitch Morse code, and somewhere in like the 20s and 30s, somebody's looking at him going. <laughs> really? SOS. SOS. <laughs> Are you in danger, sir? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's twitch, 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 twitch. Wow. I love it. With all my face. <laughs> so, Yuki, our born in tavern. Brothel owning assassin on the side with the magical toothpick of youth, who is Morse coding out of his twitch. <laughs> the majority of his life lives in the swamps, ruling the alligators by feeding them his victims. This guy's pretty awesome. Who ends up falling to the blade of his child when she needs alligator pelts and is tired of living. That's pretty. So does he finally die at the end when, when his child runs him through with yeah. magical blade? His innards are out, toothpicks out with it, just plucks it out. The toothpick is finally like, thank God! Yeah. <laughs> Turns to a pencil, so great. <laughs> Can you read now? <laughs> the poor daughter is then traumatized for life. There's a pencil running on the ground. Pencil's forever lost in the swamps. The alligators steal the pencil, and it becomes their trophy. 
they, they, worship, they worship it like they worship the pencil. It's a new idol. <laughs> Pick worshiping alligators. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so you guys, obviously you enjoy this character, okay? So to you, 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 you yeah, to, the, to the point you you go, I actually want to create and I actually want to talk about this character and what's going on. He's relatable. We've all been in places where we can't do the thing that we want to do because there's something we can't control and we don't know how to do it. But we all have the secret desire to live forever and rule alligators in the swamps of Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> so creating a three-dimensional character that has that kind of depth, that really is like, I want to know what happens to this character. Let's actually spend time and talk about this. It doesn't matter if it's ridiculous, I just like it, that part. You can use that in any other character creation that you do. Any story that you create. These are the kind of questions you ask yourself. We had a name, some height, some measurements, and some very basic things when we started. And look at the kind of story you've just created. It's magical, it's engaging, it's hilarious. You know, like you've got all these things that are built into that, and it's really important as a writer to not only think about what you want as the writer, but what your audience is going to want to read. And what's good for them is good for you, too, because you're going to feed off of each other and work with you. I think that's a lot of fun. I don't know about anybody else, but I really enjoy that. So when you walk away from the panel, now you have Yuki to take home with you, because let's guarantee it, we're all going to remember the fact that the alligators are now worshipping at a pencil. And, and YouTube. And, and YouTube will remember as well. <laughs> <laughs>